Welcome back to your No Malarkey Guide to Programming. This is Kalu Kalu. In this video, we're going to set up our SSH key. If you forgot what that means, or if you don't know what that means, that is just a means in which we can log into our remote server. So the first thing we want to do is go to this web page, this initial server setup with Ubuntu 16.04. If you don't know how to get there, you can just do site digital ocean dot com and then paste that right in there you just right click and paste this initial server setup so copy it and paste and it should be the first web web result so get to this page you want to go to step four I'll also provide a link in the description so in step four we want to go to generate a key pair before we generate a key pair we want to check to see if you already have an ssh public key pair to do that i want you to open your terminal just to show you how to do that open your terminal and do ls this uh tilde or curved dash forward slash dot ssh and then enter and if you have something pop up that says um id underscore rsa dot p u b you can just double check to make sure that there's something actually in there and you do that by doing this key right here oh oops so if you don't have anything then you do not have your ssh set up and we need to follow this uh, instructions if you do have an id already for your uh, public ID then you're good to go you may want to just cap that and press enter I'm not gonna press enter but you may we just want to double check that there's something actually inside of there so with that being said let's go ahead and assume that those of us that don't have one want to go ahead and generate a new pair so to do that you use this command right here you just SSH key gen and press enter I am not gonna press enter because I already have one but if you did press enter you would see an output that looks just like this and at this point you want to hit return to accept this file name right here next you'll be prompted for a passphrase just hit return leave it blank continue and that's gonna generate a private key it's gonna generate an ISRA a, a private key as well as a public P a public key the ID underscore RSA dot pub. This is the one that we want. This is the one we want to focus. I said this wrong earlier. ID underscore RSA. But this is the one that we want to focus on and we're going to use it in the next video. So once you've done this, you're good. You may just want to open your directory and copy it, but we'll do that in the next video. See you guys in the next video.